everyone! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a duct tape inside out wallet. The supplies you're going to need are one to two colors of duct tape, gray tape, or clear tape. These can be used for the back of your card pockets to save tape, and they can also be used to clear tape trims and things like that. An X-Acto knife or scissors. I am using these Fiskars Duck Edition nonstick scissors. A ruler some sort of ID plastic. I usually cut mine three and three fourths by two and one fourth, but you can cut it to wherever you feel comfortable. That's just what works for me. You'll also need a piece of Ziploc that is about three and three fourths inches long and some sort of card just to make sure that all your card pockets are positioned properly and that your cards will fit. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is take your pattern and cut out two strips of tape that are three and three fourths inches long. Now we're going to take our piece of Ziploc and pull that apart. We're going to take one of our strips and we're just going to line that up right above the Ziploc. You don't want to put it on the Ziploc part, just right above it, like so. Flatten that down really nicely flip it over. I like to smooth it out on this side too just to make sure it'll stay attached while folding it over. And we're just going to fold that over like so. Flatten that out. And you're going to do the exact same thing with your next piece. Now we should have two pieces like this and we're going to cut out two more strips of our pattern at our three and three fourths inches long. Now that you have your two strips of tape, we're going to bring back our Ziploc pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. Then we're going to take our pattern piece and we're going to make it that it is three inches tall. So this is what your first piece should look like. Now that you have your two pieces done, what we're going to do is we're going to flip these over and you wanna line them up together that they're barely even touching. You just wanna make sure that they are six inches long together. And now we're going to take our inside color and we're going to use our first piece to just cover up the center like this. And I'm just gonna cut that away from the coin pouch. So as you can see, I have that center part covered which connected these two. And now we're going to take some more tape and we're going to cover up the rest of the stickiness. Now you should have a sheet like this and we're just going to fold it up and we're going to make sure our Ziploc can actually lock and stay together. As you can see, there is some adhesive showing at the side, so I'm just gonna cut that off with my nonstick scissors. So now you should have a little Ziploc coin pouch like this. And this is the time where you could actually cover the seams right here with clear tape, but I'm going to skip that step so that way anyone could make this. So if you're a beginner, clear taping really isn't a must for your first time. So now I'm just going to move on to the card pocket step. Okay, so moving on to the card pockets, we're going to cut out two strips of tape. You're going to need one in your pattern and one in either your pattern again or silver tape or clear tape. Right now I'm using the silver tape to save on my zebra. Both strips are going to need to be three and three fourths again. And we're just going to flip up our pattern. Then I'm going to peel up my silver and I'm just going to place that directly on the zebra. And this should make your first card pocket. And now I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to put on trim. So once again, I cut out a strip of tape that is three and three fourths inches long. There's a lot of the same measurements in this craft, but I cut that out for my trim color. And basically what I did is I lined this piece of tape up to the very, very top of this line right here. And I'm just going to place my ruler on this first row of dots, which is one fourth of an inch. Then I'm just adding the trim right above the ruler.
Then I'm just smoothing that down and I'm going to run my nail right across the top. And now I'm just folding this part over. And then you should have one card pocket with some trim. Then you're going to want to repeat that step so that way you have two credit card pockets. Now I'm taking my ID plastic and I'm doing it basically the exact same way. Now you just want to trim the back so that way when you fold this over you won't be able to see the stickiness through the other side of the ID. Now just fold that over. Once again you can use your clear tape to tape the trim on this and the card pockets down. And now we're going to work on our short pocket. Now I'm taking my red duct tape and I'm going to cut that to once again three and three fourths inches long. And basically you just fold it to your desired length. I don't really do a specific measurement. I just kind of fold it down to where it looks right to me. Then you're just going to flatten that down. And now I'm going to get my clear tape actually for this one. I'm just going to put that on the back and there is the short pocket. I just put the clear tape on there so that way it will clear tape that seam right here. And now we're going to work on assembling our wallet. Okay guys, so now what you're going to do is you're going to cut one strip of your pattern duct tape that is three and three fourths inches long as always. And you're going to cut that into fourths, but we're only going to use three of those strips. And you should have an extra of your colored tape to be able to put on this one from when we did our trims. And what you're going to do is just place those on the bottom of your card pockets and ID. Now we're going to start assembling everything onto our coin pouch. So now you should have something like this. Now we're going to cut out another piece of duct tape that is three and three fourths inches long. And this is going to seal up the bottom so there is no rough edges. You also want to clear tape or duct tape the inside of your card pockets. Okay, and while I did that, I cut out a strip of tape that is three inches long, and we're going to cut that in half. And we're going to cut this bottom one in half as well. Okay, so you wanna take your strip of tape that is three and three fourths inches long, and I'm just going to put a roll of tape right on my pouch to secure it there while I put that on the bottom. And I'm just lining this up with the previous piece of tape. Like so, running my nail across it just to make it easier to fold. Now I'm just going to peel that up and fold that over. So now there's no raw edge right over here. And now we're going to seal up the sides of our coin pouch. Just make sure that all your edges are nice and straight and clean. So now I'm doing the exact same thing using a roll of tape to hold it down. And I'm taking one of my strips that were three inches long and I'm just going to use that to seal up these sides. And I'm going to fold that over. And don't worry if your trim is too thick on the sides because we can go back in and trim it down. So you should have something like this and as you can see the trim is a little thick on the side so I'm going to trim that down a little bit. Now what I did is I just cut this down with my X-Acto knife just to make the trim a little thinner and now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife again and we're going to cut slits in the card pockets like this. And now you should be done. Your inside out wallet should look like this. The ID, the three credit card pockets, and the coin pouch at the top. This one was a little bit rushed because I was filming this tutorial. Usually they turn out a little bit better than this one does. I will show you some other ones that I have made. 
I made this one and I clear tape all the seams and trims on mine but I figured if beginners are watching this they might not have the supplies to be able to do that. Here's another one that I made. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I would love if I could get this video to 100 likes. Definitely subscribe for more and don't forget to check out all my links to social media down in the description below and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye everyone! There is the billfold here. There are four card pockets with the star prism trimmed in the peach color. There is a Ziploc coin pouch. All the seams are clear taped as well.